Well, Dude. you did hop on the mic for the first time. Yeah, that's, that's true. All right, though. Three, Hopping right on in. Mr. Artistically one, Jewel himself versus Sinji 93. <laughs> Thank you for the plug. The 93 stands for how many times he's he's uh, killed someone with key? I'm pretty sure that number's higher. Yeah, probably. Like, that key comes out a lot. And I feel like a fast-paced projectile is going to be needed in this matchup, so we're going to see a lot of orange. You're going to see a lot of throwing of the B button at their, your opponent because these two characters are great. I really want to see how Jewel... So, have, I've obviously these two have played before, but I don't know their record off top. If anyone, if anyone cared to enlighten me, nobody. Okay, well, that that's that's a good record for the, for the record right there. It's a good but start, yeah. if anything. Jewel has always been known as a very cerebral player, and what I mean is that he, his management of his his situational awareness, coupled with how technical he is, really makes him a force to be reckoned with. So I, I really want to see how he navigates around Sinji's game plan. Sinji's like a puzzle, honestly. As a, as a player, you have to solve the puzzle before you can fight Sinji. I feel like part of this matchup is actually going to be Sinji figuring out the puzzle of fighting Jewel. Yeah. Because, like... Sinji's more patient style of trap setting, it, it works. Like, it, it, it keeps him afloat in sets. It keeps him bugged in matchups where people aren't as experienced. But, like, Jewel's Jewel also works on the trap fast. as well, though. It's a jigsaw puzzle, one player game versus 4D chess. That's right. There you go. <laughs> and also, also ball type. I believe Robin's projectiles that she needs come out quicker than the projectiles that Sinji needs to get his, his major startups. So that's gonna be another thing he's gonna have to navigate around. It's like a, it's basically an arms race this entire set. Well, one important thing that's in the set we've seen multiple times already is that the bonus fruit don't really care for any of Robin's projectiles. In fact, Pac-Man as a whole does not care for any of these projectiles. No, so Hy Hydrant like, is, his, is his boy. And, and honestly, the fruit too. The fruit eats projectiles pretty nicely as well. That's what I'm saying. It's just like like thunder for a hit confirm into an aerial. Uh, L Thunder to extend an edge guard, or uh, for once, Arc Fire, uh, just being good just for occupying space. Uh, oh wow, actually burning Sinji, but unfortunately oh. not having the aerial drift to make it back though. That's weird. I think that can happen. I hate when I see like gross ass interactions like that between these two because like you're gonna be seeing a lot of them. For they sure. already don't play their characters as intended, mind you. They play them better than expected, but like. Both these guys are also like the. It, Sinji's definitely within the top two, and Jewel is, I think, the best Robin in the game right now. So I, it's. It, if there's any way to play these characters, these two are kind of paving the way. They're masters of their crafts, but because of that, when they pave the way to success, you start seeing oh, the ugly side of Smash. Great text by Jewel. His reaction, his reaction time is very nice. And that there, he's just going to say no. Not going to do it quite yet, though. Dramatic finish being a, a notable out. Wow, he actually spaced the, the the arc fire to go over the ledge. It just kind of fell off. Jewel knows the spacing really, really well. Of course. I love Jewel playing Sinji's own game on him. Sinji likes to throw key a lot when his opponents are messing around with the hydrant. So Jewel's trying to do a similar thing where Sinji was about to do one of his setups. Gentlemen's kills. There's so many layers to how this set's gotta go. Yeah, this is what you say. <laughs> it's 40 chess versus a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. Who oh. can solve the puzzle first before the other person beats them in chess? That should be a fun thing I'd, I'd love to watch. Have you ever seen 40 chess? I actually wouldn't. Well, people playing 40 chess, like who can win first? Like you, the two win conditions are solving the jigsaw puzzle or winning the 40 chess. No, the win condition's solving it. No, while no, no. Oh. I need more. I need more power. Not about to the phone right over here. What? What'd you say? Not about, not about to have a. You know, in Monsters Inc., the guy with all the eyes on his body? Yes. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, he ate. He ate. Thunder. Thunder. Robin doing a great weather forecast right there. <laughs> now doing it in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, final destination for the pick in stage two. And like, I feel like this isn't actually gonna change much. If anything, this is gonna make Jewel's job easier. Yeah, this is a really good stage for Jewel. I know this is, is Sinji's best stage though. I know we've seen him go into it time and time again, so. I guess he just wants less uh, real estate to navigate 
terms of like platforms and stuff like that. But honestly, I really don't feel like that was what was doing it. Whoa! That was insane! Don't litter. That was crazy! Save Did he know that was gonna happen? He's been doing that a couple of times. Dude, he's like, crazy. He's been aggressively moving in ways that like he knows the item that's gonna fly out over Robin's shoulder. Like, acts as a, a hit confirm. This man's a genius. Look at all of the crap that's just in front of Sinji when he's trying to block. Like, honestly, it's it's almost like we're watching Tetris while making comparisons to puzzles. And Sinji's struggling to get rid of the garbage pieces. Oof, okay. Not gonna quite even... Yeah, it, it, like I said, it's an arms race, and, and Jewel has been able to consistently win with his, the plethora of tools. Pac-Man really only has, you know... If Jewel keeps wrecking the Hydrant, Sinji really only has one avenue for punishes, and that's the fruit. But Jewel has his book, his sword, his spells. So he's already beating out Sinji in the arms race by having just more avenues to punish. He doesn't even have to he doesn't have to solve the puzzle. My man just could keep playing 40 chess on him. Well, he's solving away. I feel like it's Sinji now who needs to figure out an option. And he does so this is a very unique situation for Sinji where he doesn't have the option of slowing things down. Because no. the more that he slows down, the more that Jewel is able to just tighten his zone. And the more that we see the zone get tightened, the easier it is for Jewel to come in with 11. There we go. I love how Jewel's not just approaching at all. I, I really like how patient he's been because Sinji does have a very limited area of effect when Jewel's been constantly limiting his resources from him. Like, look at that. He, he doesn't have to overcommit to destroying the Hydrant because Shinji's, Shinji's forced to, to shield every single time. So it's not like Sinji can, can punish him for, for beating up the Hydrant anyway. Wow. Jewel's, Jewel's a nut, bro. <laughs> He bounced. Bounce. And now he now he can trap Sinji hit the ledge. He looks so disciplined in this matchup. I have to imagine they played this set before. Like at least enough times for Jewel to understand the fundamental basics. Well to my understanding they see each other not only here at Xeno, but also like Gauntlet. So ah, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. They run yeah, Jewel, Jewel did used to be DA, so that just makes sense. For a very brief period of time. In like a couple of weeks until Goffin came through with the contract. Yep. Ooh, that was very risky for Sinji because if you get caught in the sweet spot of Elwin, that how did he know to tech all that? He's crazy and he's still alive. Bobby's out of the okay. He still managed to return even he while being needed out that. of the Elwin. Yeah, he had none of it. And now, now he gets Bam. ledge trapped. That's insane. Jewel's looking so Whoa! Are you literate? Yo, when they hit you with those late feeds, they really ain't kidding, man. All right. Jewel really doesn't have to do much on this. He's been chilling. Yeah, he's been big chilling this entire He looks so comfortable. Sinji, look at Pac-Man's face as he's hanging onto the ledge. That's, that's I imagine, what Sinji's feeling right now. <laughs> Devin almost having a stroke. Because of Pac-Man. Yeah, but Jewel's just counterplay to, ev to the Sinji's pulling out anything. Sinji has been unable to find any answers. Now Sinji's been forced to take the offensive for the first time in the set, but it might be too little too late. Like, it, it's just a curious matter because Jewel's game plan has not moved an inch since we've started the set. And the worst that's happened is he's just gotten more and more creative with how he's pressuring Sinji. Meanwhile, Sinji, attempting to mix up any of his options, just hasn't gone well. The way, the way adapting works at a fundamental sense is that you don't have to change up your game plan until your opponent changes up theirs. Jewel has been able to just stick to his game plan and really... Yeah, this, has been, this is looking very sad. That was so sad. Can we get an F in the chat for that key, please? Oh, finally, one landing. Yeah, but Sinji's just not been able to find any openings. He's slowly bringing the lead back to him, but if he can't get in close to Jewel, he really can't, you know, do anything. All it takes is one... You know, good read from Jewel. He, Jewel doesn't even have to ride any momentum, too. He can just keep chipping away at Sinji. He's so, chilling. He's still yeah. in the second stock. He, he literally... Oh, uh, Robin, I feel like, and the way Jewel plays her, I feel like allows her to not even have to worry about Sinji getting his win condition. Because Sinji's win condition primarily thrives off of you messing up or, or you know, doing your spacing play. With all the tools Robin has, you really don't need to worry about that. Even the crowd agrees. Very short. There you go. All right. Finally getting in. Like, Sinji needs... This is a matchup where Sinji is forced to play the close quarters match. And he can only really do that when he has, like, apple, fruit, or bell in hand. Which, that in itself requires some setup. But then also, his close range strings aren't that damaging, and they're not that safe. So, like, Sinji has to take big risks in order to make this match go anywhere close to his wow, side. Wow, that's shields. 
I don't even know if you can angle that too, so that you don't get hit by the entire hits. Oh my god, barely, barely living that. Yeah, one more good ledge trap from Jewel. And then sinji has got this. Yeah, this that that was the perfect opportunity to do that from the ledge. I love Oh my gosh, okay. Look at this box. Yeah, if there's one person who knows item play, it's Sinji. I don't know if it's too little too late though. Let's see, what's the option? We're just gonna jog that. He just got the books back. Take a brisk walk. Oh, but Sinji's saying I'm not out of it just yet. One more good punish from Sinji off stage. I don't know, man. Sinji's still got some work ahead of him. I, it's not out of the realm of possibility for him to, to net the game, but Jewel has not made this easy for him by any stretch of the imagination. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Yo. Yeah, and Jewel, Jewel's showing he's not about to let this lead go. That's it. Yeah, dash tag. Yep. Just textbook by Jewel, just breaking Sinji down and forcing him to fundamentally just change his play style. That was insane. I'm impressed every time I, I watch Jewel step up to play, but since he, he's so good on his heel, on his toes. I feel like this was an especially impressive set for Jewel because, like, it's one thing to see his, like, wacky movement, his really good item play. But seeing him slow it down and break someone down is, like, something else. Right? Like, we saw him do what Sinji does to other good players. Yeah. Where Sinji uses, like, such an abstract approach to limiting options and completely suffocating his opponents. Here, Jewel turned the tables a complete 180 and did the same to him. Bonus Fruit had no impact on the set. Fire Hydro used more effectively against Sinji than with Sinji. And, like, quite frankly, Sinji seemed lost on how to approach that yeah, matchup. Yeah, okay. You know, back to the drawing board for Sinji. As he approaches, he needs one more set to uh, get it to top eight. But, seems he's got Venia versus Mr. E coming up next. Snake this versus is a, the sword. This is a 